everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my project polish update. This was originally created by um, Pretty Pistol 86. I don't think she's filming right now. She hasn't filmed for a while, but she is the uh, original creator of this project. So I'm going to have her link down below in case she has come back to filming. Um, so basically it is a painting project to use up all of your polish. There's like a bazillion people that do this project. Um, I did not do it last year. I have done it in years past, but I decided to do something a little bit different last year. And yeah, I, I wasn't really feeling it. So I wanted to get back to actually doing a dedicated project polish. I really um, enjoy it. it. It keeps me um, focused on my nail polish as opposed to putting random ones here or there in projects. This just, I don't know, it's just easier for me to keep track of everything. And I don't know, I just feel it. I feel it a little bit more this way. And I feel like I'm doing it pretty darn good this year. Um, I have another empty for you, which um, I did enjoy the color, but I found that it stayed tacky too long, even with a, like a quick dry top coat. So I'm happy that it is done. Um, this is Little Sinful Colors. Um, I've had this forever in the color Thimbleberry. I love this as a toe color. Um, I don't know why I like dark colors on my toes. Um, like I said, it if I put it on my fingers, it just, it would like dent even hours later. And um, I, I can't stand that. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So it worked really well as a toe polish for some reason. So that is the way I was able to finish this one up. You can see where I was at my last update and I just finished it off. It's a tiny one, so you know, I'm not surprised that it is done by now. Um, I am now officially four polishes done in this project this year. I did finish some in other projects that were carryovers from last year, which, you know, kind of threw a wrench into my numbers a little bit and what I feel like I can accomplish this year. But, but I was able to finish some of those and I'm happy and, you know, I will have my makeup use up very soon. You guys will, will be seeing that, but four down in this specific project. All right, I'm gonna show you what I still have, then I will show you my current color story. And I'm, I'm kind of decide, I'm trying to decide um, if I can talk and think at this late at night. Do I wanna bring something else in or do I wanna just keep continuing with what I have and possibly frank in what I have? Um, Cause I've already frank in some, we shall see in a second. Um, so. I don't know, let me know what you guys think, um, if I should bring in something else next update or should I just keep going with what I currently have. All right, I'm gonna show you the two that I did not use at all in the past month. The other, this is another little Sinful Colors and this one is in Muddy Potion. I don't have a ton in here, but um, I am right here at this line. There it goes. So I'm right there at that line and um, I think if I concentrate on it, I could get it done. But again, much like this one that I finished, it does dent and it drives me crazy. So I would probably have to use it as a toe color because, and it's kind of a boring toe color. I don't know. I'll have to see what I want to do with that one. And also the Victoria's Secret Purple Rain. I am still pretty much right here at this gold line. Um, that might become a toe color because um, this time of year, dark colors, with all my gardening and stuff like that, I just get too too much wear too quickly. Um, so I probably won't be using it on my fingers while I'm doing a lot of gardening, but I do think I would like that on my toes. All right, let's see. The ones that I have used, but don't, I was not able to do an extra line. Um, this is Revlon Sunflash. I am just below that line, but I, I can't make another line. I use this one actually quite a bit. It is just below the line. This is Essence um, AC Fairy. And you can see I am just below this line there. Um, Wet n Wild Formidable. Again, just below the line. Revlon Cherries in the Snow just below the line there. And of course it gets wider, so the progress looks like it's even less on that one. And of course the striping polish from Avon, it's pretty low. Um, I, I probably could get this one done if I really, really worked hard at it, but um, I don't know. I just, 
I don't want to do like an all gold nail because it literally has a striping brush in it, which is nice, but um, I don't do like a ton of nail art. So it's a very long, thin brush. I don't know. We'll have to see what I'm feeling for the next month. Um, let me show you my Franken, which used to be like a base coat, but um, now it is like like my Frankening Haven. I do have it on my nails right now, and um, I do have like some toppers on it. So, you know, mixing it up just a little bit. And then Canary by Nina, it looks like it's done, but it is actually in this Franken. What is left of this Franken, it's about down to this bottom line. And so I will not consider Canary done until this Franken is done. And I, I've been like focusing on these two Frankens quite a lot lately. I don't know if it's just because they seem like summery colors to me. I don't know, but hopefully I can get um, this orangey coral kind of Franken done by the next update. And then I can consider Canary done, which, you know, will be another polish done, which is kind of the goal here. All right. Now the three that I have focused on the most and I was able to draw new lines on. Um, this is the Kiss Gel Strong in Pistachio. I was at the gold and now I'm at the purple. Not a ton of progress, but if you look at the sides, you can see I'm just about halfway done. I do like this polish. I don't like the brush. And I think that's why I don't use it as much as I should because um, even though the brush is like a good length and it's kind of like that oval flattish oval so um, it lays nice the end of it is a little too blunt and um, I just I don't get as good um, like cuticle area as I like without having to do a ton of cleanup so the brush is what kills it for me on that one um, the top coat that I'm currently wearing is the INM out the door in northern lights I was at this purple, now I'm at the lower purple. So I have my purpley Franken with this over top and stand, sandwiched between, I actually have Sun Flash just to, you know, give it a little extra something because why not play? Why not play? And then what I currently have on my toes is the Revlon Streetwear in Chilling. I was able to make a new line there. I was here, now I'm down here. This is the one I think I could potentially finish by the next update, it's so close. It, I mean, if you look at what's there and you know that there's Mixer Ball in there too, so I could potentially have another one done by the next update. I Like if I really was to focus, I could probably finish, I don't know. I don't know what I could possibly, I, I think I could do chilling. I really think I could do chilling. If I pushed myself Muddy Potion, but I'm just not feeling it. This time of year, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not feeling that shade. Um, I could push myself to use the gold, but again, not feeling it. I really like my other Franken. So I kind of feel like these are gonna be my two focus for the next month and um, see what progress I can make with those. This is what I'm enjoying. And um, we'll see what else I'm feeling, but hoping, hoping that I can have another empty for you for next month. Um, I'm going to show you what I have finished thus far. Um, what is the one that I missed? Oh, the double twist base and top coat. That was um, a clear that I franken, so I don't actually have a thing for it, but these are the three colors that I have finished thus far. And this, this is what I currently have left to play with. So there's some top coats and like, like glitter top coats and stuff like that like I like the color story here but I don't know I feel like it's missing something and I'm not sure what that is so if you guys want to suggest something again I don't have the yellow anymore it is this coral shade instead which I like but um, if I was going to add something in first of all let me know if you think I should add something else in or just stick with what I've got but if you if you think that I should add something in, tell me what color you think I should add in. Like maybe a pink or something? I don't know. I don't know what color. I'm at a loss. So let me know what you guys think um, and I will consider doing it because I don't know. Like 
I don't want to say I feel uninspired, but I, I do kind of feel uninspired at the same time. And which is crazy because I have a lot of polishes in right now. So I don't know where my head's at, but I need something. I definitely need something else. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.